Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be replacing the igniter on a Frigidaire Electrolux oven. First things first, before you do anything, make sure the power is turned off to your oven. Um, I just want to be very clear about that, right? Uh, next, I'm going to show you the pieces of equipment that I purchased that I'll be using, and then I'll show you a couple basic steps you need to do to get to the igniter, and we'll do the work. So let's get started. All right, so here is what came in the box. We have our flat igniter which is really similar to the one that I have now, except it didn't come with an attachment or plug on the end. So what I have to do is splice this, which is no big deal. Um, two, ceramic wire nuts. Ceramic, I'm telling you this because apparently sometimes people will send you plastic wire nuts and that will not work in an oven because of the heat, all right? So make sure you have ceramic wire nuts. And then third, they sent me some oven insulation in the event I needed to use this. Uh, apparently some igniters have insulation around them. I will not be using that, but I will be using these three items here, right? So let's look inside the oven and I'm gonna show you what we have to do in order to get to work. Now, obviously we're gonna remove these two racks right here, get them out of the way. Now, then if you look in the back, you're gonna see a flathead screw there. Same one over there. I'm gonna pop those out. We'll be able to take this off and then we'll get to work from there. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Now that you've removed the racks and the bottom cover, there's another cover we have to remove here, all right? And this is gonna take, uh, I always use my six in one, you know, just pop off, pop off the attachment. Here we go. Uh, you unscrew these, there's gonna be three right here and then you'll be able to pop this off and get to your igniter. So let me do that and we'll come right back. Before we go any further, I want to show you uh, where the igniter connection is underneath your oven and how you're going to get there. All right, so let's back up. So there's your oven. Uh, on the Electrolux, you've got a storage area under here. Uh, you're going to pull that drawer out. I already did, that's over there. Uh, and you're going to look under here and your igniter is going to be located, uh, I mean your igniter switch, I mean your igniter hook, hook up, your connection, it's going to be located back here all right i'm going to touch it it's going to be up here all right it's going to be i'll zoom in in just a second all right I'll focus on it and all you're going to do all right the best i can do all you're going to do is donate so i can get a gopro uh no i'm just kidding all you're going to do is go in here all right and just push that lever and disconnect it. All right, so here's where you'll be splicing later and we'll get back to that, all right? But I just wanna show you, this is where we're disconnecting and then that other end is what is going to your igniter. And we're gonna take a look at that right now and we're gonna remove the igniter and do some more work. All right, so there at the back, as you can see, there's your igniter. So what I'm going to do is actually remove the whole gas line here, the gas feed, I don't know the proper term for that. And it's gonna be a lot easier to work on this. How you do that, uh, make sure you have enough room. Just gonna come in here and unscrew this, all right. That's off, or will be. All right, it just makes it a lot easier to work with this. So now, and there we go. There is the wood igniter. So now what I'll do is I'll get the new igniter put over here. I'll feed the wires down. All right, we'll get it all hooked up and then we'll do the splice last, all right? Back in a moment. All right, so I installed the new igniter and another advantage to taking off the pipe is that I can just do the work right here instead of trying to cram myself into the oven and, and unscrew the igniter. Cause also you don't want to damage the igniter, all right? I mean, you're, they say they're pretty fragile. 
I mean, yeah, so just, you know, do your best to not slam it around. And one of the best ideas is just to pull this pipe out. So what I'm gonna do is feed these wires down. I'm gonna reseat the gas pipe here. All right, so I'm gonna screw those back into place in a moment. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> go underneath and we'll do the splice. I'll be right back. Well, I'll be right back to show you the splice. This is what we're working with, all right? So we have to get it out. All right, just again, there's this little knobs, little tabs you push. All right, I get that out. Okay, now if you look here, we've got a good amount we're working with from the igniter. That's the, that's the plus side. A good amount of wire here. If I can get it. There we go. Yes, we got a good amount of leads. To work with. I mean, actually, if you look, we don't have a ton of extra uh, lead here. So just, I mean, we do, we can stretch it. So just when you make this cut, you know, you're going to make a cut, you're going to cut these. I'm going to zoom in a little more. What you're going to do is snip this off here and strip the wire back a little bit, all right? And then I'll do that and I'll come back and we'll splice them together and we'll try it out. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna be very clear uh, about a knucklehead mistake I made, not a mistake, but if I were to do it again, and you've read the disclaimer on my movie on this video already, uh, I would have kept the connectors in place right here, all right? And then cut the wires back here from the old igniter and spliced it into here. But because now I've cut the oven wires, it's not that big of a deal. You know, this oven's old anyway, but in retrospect, all right? So if you're watching this and you haven't made any splices yet or cuts, cut the wires to the igniter. Don't cut the connector. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm gonna splice these together with the wire nuts. Uh, we'll twist it up. I'll tape these back together over here, get it looking nice, and we'll test it out. All right, so as you can see, as best you can, got both the wire nuts twisted on there. All right, I kind of have them just staged back here so they won't pop out anywhere. Uh, just put some electrical tape on them so that the leads on both sides aren't pulling in opposing directions, all right? A little bit of extra security. And like I said, I just put a little electrical tape, whoops, a little electrical tape on the bundle of wires that were originally connected. So the next step, we're gonna open the door of this oven, we're gonna fire it up, we're gonna see if the gas catches on fire or if nothing happens and we did it incorrect. So let's take a look. The moment of truth. Let me turn on the oven and we'll see what happens down here. All right, so I just set it to 375. See a little glow, that's a good sign. All right, it looks like the igniter is heating up. Now let's just see if we can get some gas. And look at that, we have a flame. Mission accomplished. All right, I'm gonna batten this thing back up, button this thing back up. I don't know why I just said that. And we'll fire it up one more time and we should be good to go. That is a beautiful sight. All right, so I hope that tutorial helped. Uh, I hope you were able to repair your oven igniter the, uh, relatively as simple as I was. Just remember a few of the tips that I gave you. Uh, first and foremost, turn off the power before you start this project. Second, 
when you go to do your splice, do not cut the cable, uh, the connector that goes to the oven. All right, keep that there. Keep that connected to the old igniter. And what you wanna do is cut the wires to the old igniter and then bring the new wires in and splice into the connector, okay? That would be a lot more easier than what I did where I actually removed that connector. And it was a big pain in the ass. All right, I still got it to work, everything's fine. It, it won't melt, it won't catch fire, we're set. But like I said, that's just one big thing that I kind of ran into that I hope you don't do or that you won't run into. Other than that, if you have any questions, uh, just drop me in the comments, like and subscribe. I've got the oven preheating. Uh, let's take a look inside one more time because, well, I'm pretty excited. All right, so one more time, we'll look. This thing is firing up. It's gonna come to temp a lot quicker. Um, and yeah, I'm a total dork because this is pretty rad. So let's take a look one more time. Oh yeah, look at that. We got the fire underneath. I have no clue what I'm even going to cook in there. I might just leave it on and see how fast it comes to temp. But anyway, remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Drop me the questions in the comments. Uh, everyone be safe. Take it easy. Bye.